Amanda Garrett here, joined by former two-time lightweight champion Josh Thompson. Looking back at the best moments of Bellator 292 and the launch of our $1 million lightweight World Grand Prix from San Jose. Josh, let's talk about the fight that started off the night. Michael Venom Page versus Goichi Yamauchi here. Stylistically so different between these two. And... MVP coming away with a win. It was a throwback style fight where you have a grappler versus a striker, but MVP with the speed, the movement, all of those things, but it was one kick that did the damage. That inside leg kick that Goichi Yamauchi checked, but he checked in the wrong spot, caught him right at the kneecap, right below the kneecap. You can see the damage done right away, the vibration through the leg. Goichi Yamauchi goes right to the ground, grabs the leg. Basically a walk-off TKO. After that, we had a battle of heavyweights between Linton Vassell, Valentin Moldovsky. This is a rematch of a fight four years ago. Linton Vassell, during the first one, it was his first fight at heavyweight in 10 years, said, I'm not making that mistake again, because he was too heavy there. Not tonight, Josh. Well, he listened to Grandma Pearl, and she said, get up, Linton, get up, Linton. <laughs> so guess what he did? Early in that fight, he got back to his feet, and he made sure that Moldovsky paid. And in that exchange there, he was actually sliding backwards and landed the big shot that put the fight away. He is now the number one contender in that division. Then we got started with our lightweight World Grand Prix, kicking that off. We have Tofik Musayev going up against Alexander Shabli. Going into this tournament, we talked about how either guy could win it. Maybe not the finish that fans wanted, but it was fair. Yeah, a finish is a finish. And realistically, what you could, what I heard of Tidding Cage side was that push kick right up the middle. But Shabli had did the work earlier by going to the inside leg kick, landing some great shots on the feet. But it was that tip kick right up the middle that landed the sternum that I think eventually broke some ribs because you could hear the crack go across the cage or across the arena when that, when that kick landed. Alexander Shabli moving on in this tournament. And then we had our main event, Usman Nurmagomedov going up against Benson Henderson. Benson Henderson, a two-time world champ, Usman Nurmagomedov, the current champion, and Josh, this fight was emotional, it was incredible. Landed that beautiful question mark kick that I've seen him do so many times in the gym, and he had set that up a little bit with some feints, a little bit of movement of the hips, and then as that hit the ground, he jumped onto the neck several times. Benson was resilient as always, but wasn't able to stop it when he finally latched on and got the finish with the rear naked choke. Tapping out a little bit less than three minutes in the first round. So much respect between these two fighters. Benson Henderson laying down his gloves, calling it a career, an emotional into his career. Legendary one. There is your champ, Usman Nurmagomedov. Of course, the name Nurmagomedov, so familiar in MMA. Here is where things stand when it comes to lightweight World Grand Prix. Usman Nurmagomedov moving on. He will face the winner between Brent Primus and Mansoor Banarwi. Alexander Shabli moving on. He will face the winner between Patriki Pitbull and AJ McKee. We cannot wait for that fight there. But Josh, I mentioned that main event, it was emotional. Going into this, Benson Henderson, 39 years old. He has won two belts in two other major promotions. He wanted a third one in Bellator. And going into this, we weren't sure if he, if he lost or even if he won, if he'd be moving on. And he called it a career at the end of this. Yeah, there's one person across all sports that's undefeated, and that's called Father Time. And it gets us all. And I've done this. I've participated in MMA for years. And at some point, it's going to get you. And so tonight was his night. He understands that it was time for him to let it go and move aside so his wife can go ahead and start to take over. There's a lot that goes through a fighter's mind when you're thinking about retirement. But he was always someone that had one, both feet in. He was never one foot out, one foot out, and one foot in. And the one thing I can say about Benson Henderson is that I'm, it's been a pleasure to share the cage with you, to train with you, to fight you, but to be your friend now. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best in the rest of your life. And we all echo that here at Bellator. Josh, thank you so much.